was born in Samoa, in Savai, um, on the other island. Our house um, there wasn't much, to be honest, you know. Um, I don't think we had doors. I remember it being a blue house though, um, and we had a few stray dogs here and there. You know, when Dad needed to go get food, he would um, you know, be walking kilometres and then you know, come back the next morning yeah, and then bring food back for us. We didn't have much, you know, we played with rocks, me and my brother, that was, you know, our toys. You know, we'll just use that as, as footies. The fury of a tropical cyclone at its height. I remember my auntie sent me a, a toy plane, right, and, but there was a cyclone that happened there. So we have these things called faleo'os. Um, those are the, you see them, they're like little huts. So we had one of them and we we're just sitting, sitting in them and you can see the flood you know, starting to rise and you know, mum and dad's just holding us kids and I just remember seeing the flood come in and then just wipe um, you know, my toy plane away. I think that was a, you know, one of the memories that really stuck with me, you know, just seeing that, yeah, thank God we, you know, we survived. <laughs> So we moved to New Zealand in Christchurch there and we lived with my mum's dad for a bit while we you know, tried to find out our, our own place and mum and dad could find their feet. But I just remember not being able to speak any English or anything so um, you know, making friends was a bit hard. It was tough for myself and my older brother and sister because Mingle Inn is a whole different world, you know, coming from a small island. Didn't know anything about footy, we just knew Rugby Union and fell in love with, you know, the Crusaders, um, Christchurch Crusaders, and grew up playing footy. Couldn't afford to have a footy yet, so we used, you know, a bottle, a drink bottle. Mum and Dad finally, you know, they, they got work and surprised us on our Christmas present with, you know, one footy as our present. And, you know, me and my brother uh, were over, over the moon, you know, we were outside, you know, from morning up until, you know, the, the sun went down, we were just kicking that ball, it was like everything to us. You know, they said, oh, kids, we, we're gonna, we're gonna have to leave New Zealand and move to Australia, you know, for a better life, I'll give you guys a better life and opportunity. And then, um, you know, we were like, oh, what's this Sydney, Australia that you talk about? <laughs> like, you know, there's any photos. And then they had like a pamphlet and like on the front is, you know, the opera house. I mean, as kids, we were looking, you know, oh, well, like, is that the new place? You know, <laughs> do we all like just live there? Like, and got on the plane, you know, I couldn't sleep, you know, I was so excited. And as we were flying, you know, you see the, the opera house and the Harbour Bridge and I was like, oh, wow, like, how good is this? Like, well, what an upgrade. <laughs> You know, one of Dad's um, uncle's friends, you know, he said, oh, his son, you know, he seems really good, you know, he should try rugby league. So I played um, rugby league and I remember it was Campbelltown City. I remember just running the ball and getting tackled and then just dropping down in Union and putting the ball back. And I remember all the kids, you know, I think this was under nines or under eights, they were just looking around going, Oh, what are we doing? And the coach was like, and my dad was, I could see my dad and his friends like having a little laugh. The, and the, co uh, the ref was like, oh, no, mate, you got to stand up and play with your foot. I was like, yeah, so that from now on, I uh, fell in love with rugby league. On debut, Tim Lafayette scored the try. Lafayette scoots away. Lafayette's got it. Lafayette gets it down. What a play. To play for some odds. One of the greatest achievements in my life to be able to put on that blue jersey every time I get the call up, it's, it's an honour. Oh, oh, left foot for the corner, backhander, they're going to score! Samara back! Outstanding. I've gone back to Samoa a few times um, for a Samoan camp, and you know, when we're driving to training in the bus, and I always just look at young kids out there, you know, they're just running around in their shorts, and it just Reminds me of myself and my dad and my family, and we always just look at it and think, and like, look how far I've come and how grateful I am. I'm on time.